Hello and welcome to DIY Give It A Try. My name is Michelle Inhouse and today I'm teaching you how to make your very own Tiki torch or citronella torch, whatever you want to call it. And this one has been made out of, oh, it's a bit windy today. Um, this one's been made out of a beer bottle. Now, these beer bottles I have painted on my other channel, acrylic um, Mickey Art, M-C-E-A-R-T. Um, and this is acrylic pouring using a dishwasher safe paint. <laughs> so anyway, don't make it hot. <laughs> Oops. Try again? Go for it. <laughs> My lovely assistant will le relight the uh, the wick. <laughs> so oh, the wicks. They're on the table. <laughs> so you can decorate your bottles however you like. You can use wine bottles, you can use um, fancy spirit bottles, any sort of bottle, glass bottle that you like, really. Um, I choose, chose to paint mine and then nobody will throw it away or drink it by accident because it looks different to what my husband normally drinks. <laughs> um, but if you're going to use anything bigger than this, I would highly recommend um, using putting some rocks in the bottom, just some pebbles or something like that. So how do you make this, which is just an empty bottle really, I can see you, um, into a wiki torch. You only actually need four things other than the bottle. You'll need, of course, a wick. Now, I bought these wicks from Bunnings, or well, my husband bought these wicks from Bunnings, this is so awesome! <laughs> um, and they, they're just like a really thin piece of rope. But it's got lots of bits in it. Then you're going to need a fitting. Um, basically go to the plumbing department and get a metal fitting. Anything that has one bit bigger than the hole in your bottle and one bit small enough to fit into the hole of your bottle and that's really what you're looking for preferably metal uh, then it won't melt obviously so as you can see that just sits quite loosely but quite tidily on the top of my bottle and um, the only problem with this is if I put my wick in there somehow twist it, make it skinny, poke it through, grab a chunk, but that's just going to eventually fall through. So we need to anchor it on there somehow. And the way that I found on the internet, so this is not my own invention, I have, I am duplicating others, um, is to use this white plumber's tape. Um, it's the sort of tape that they wrap around the thread of their um, when they're screwing on a, a piece of plumbing fitting and all you do is you hold that on there when it wraps round on itself it attaches it sort of like as a not, I'm not going to say self-adhesive, but it kind of sticks to itself. And then you just wind it down so that it grabs onto the to the wick and wrap it around a couple of times and snap it off. And there you have your homemade wick. And now it's not going to fall out because it has been attached. Real simple, really easy. So, next step, of course, is to put the citronella oil into here. This stuff is 
just bought from the local hardware store it's nothing special you can get um, clear ones so if you're using a particularly clear um, bottle that you don't want it to look hideous <laughs> then maybe you want to get the clear stuff but um, there's no point having a tiki torch if it doesn't chase away the mosquitoes that's my interesting point of view so get one that's citronella based and we're just going to pour some of this in there and then drop our wick into the bottle now if you like that now there's no oil all the way up through here so leave it to to soak let it absorb I can already see it it's coming up like the oil is to here and the citronella is already climbing the wick to about there so um, you can just pick it up and see how far it's going if you're as impatient as me you tip the bottle over and let the oil come up so that it absorbs and then if you're really 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 impatient you tip some in from the top <laughs> now I'm not recommending that because as you just saw mine didn't last doing that but you're just going to make sure that the bottom of your wick is always in the oil this one's actually getting quite low now um, and I probably need to put some more in there if you can get wicks that fit um, all the way to the bottom that's going to of course give you a more um, supported situation support that's the wrong word um, it'll use all the oil all the way down <laughs> um, but once it's absorbed all the way up to the top like this one has um, it's only just sitting in the bottom there and then as you saw what me I did just then I just pulled it a little bit it pulled a bit more wick out and we're good to go and there we have our wick burning with our citronella oil in it, letting, keeping the mosquitoes away. So how does it get any easier than that? Really? I always thought you had to spend like lots of money buying these special torches. And uh, no, no you don't. <laughs> so there you go. Some little fittings from the plumbing department some wicks and some oil and a bottle to put it in and if you want to see how I painted these then head on over to my other YouTube channel Mickey Art uh, otherwise if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more hit the subscribe button down below oh look see I've, I've been painting again <laughs> um, odd that's what I do so hit the subscribe button and the videos on this channel aren't that regular yet, but uh, hey, what else can I create that I can share with you? There are other videos already over there, so go check them out. I adore you, and how much fun can you have DIYing by just giving it a try?